Today I'm actually talking about how we can actually physically use these in a steps-by-step -step process of actually how to use Facebook and Twitter. I want to actually go into more into the data and the data we can collect. And this is a very dangerous subject and a very, um, but we need, really need to understand what we're talking about when we talk about Facebook and Twitter and the types of data we can collect um, and also integration methods. So how do we actually use these sites in the recruitment process? The difference between, you know, really post and, post and pray in terms of we're praying for candidates to please apply for a job, like you do for, for posting on a job board, we want to turn this into a, more of a post and pray, um, waiting for, to actually, research, not research candidates, but actually go out there and find candidates on these social networking sites. We want to do it with ease, and we want to do as much integration with our existing ATS or talent provider, instead of doubling up on the process of going, hey, you know, I've got to open another page on, on my web browser, and then open Facebook, and then open Twitter, and then open another type of social networking. We're going to do it all in one, one big group. So we really want to create integration when we talk about things, not fragmentation uh, with different systems. What type of data we can collect? Because again, every profile you put onto a site, there is data on it. Uh, how much of this data is important in the recruitment process? And I'll talk about some tips and tricks. So when, we talk, when I talk about integration between Facebook and Twitter onto your website, I usually talk about adding a Facebook button or a Twitter button, and where you can actually quickly subscribe to a page instead of filling out an application for uh, a a, a username, entering the username and password, where it's one click and you're integrated into that website. So we see a lot of this with blogs, we see a lot of it with uh, news sites where you can leave quick comments. We're also starting to see this turn into recruitment where they can easily just um, add their profile and apply straight away. So a recent uh, survey by Career Builder in the US found that 45% of employees use social networking sites to research job candidates. Now that's up from 22% last year. And that's quite important to know because as employers and as recruiters, we need to understand that what's on people's resume might not be the exact or there could be more information behind what they do. We think about how we want to, uh, we call a candidate, we ask for more information. We can certainly cut down the process by either working out what social sites they're on. We know most people are on LinkedIn if they're professionals. We need to integrate with these, actually make communication with them. So instead of saying, okay, you've applied for a job and thanks, come in for a meeting, we need to have that step before they actually apply for the job saying, okay, we've got some integration and we've got some engagement with the user. Now, this uh, this step-by-step -step process work here was actually from Forrester back in 2008. And it talked about how we actually attract, source, engage candidates before they actually make the offer and deal. So some of the slide examples got throughout this presentation. Uh, I'll be able to give you a list of references and also some more information afterwards. So when we talk about Twitter, we really don't want to keep talking about just posting jobs because posting jobs to Twitter is really creating so much noise. We need to actually create an engagement where we're actually engaging with the user. So the example over here is a one of a, one of the job sites who is posting all the time, and it really gets up my nerve. We keep seeing. Job post after job post after job post on Twitter. That's really not what we want. We want to create engagement and conversation. We've lost the, we've lost the conversation. And I know there's so many people who, who are in the same boat, we've subscribed to so many different Twitter feeds, and all we keep getting is jo uh, jobs coming through. Even with this example here, we're actually seeing this job site actually not fully taking advantage of the software because we're not adding hashtags like jobs and city. And this is the key thing when people are going to be searching for jobs. We know we candidates can actually search for jobs on Twitter and Facebook, but again, are we actually taking the time to think of the proper way we're doing it? So if I was to say you're going to post a job to Twitter or Facebook, I would say take the time to sit through why you're actually posting it there in the first place. Again, if you're going to post and wait for an application to be more, you're going to be wasting your time. You need to have that engagement beforehand and actually talk about why it's actually important to, to work for you and create long-standing relationships. I really want you to integrate, sorry, to automate the process as much as possible because you can cut down the time it takes in terms of uh, processing to a hire. And especially if you're quite busy having multiple profiles with, with different Twitter streams or you've got a different Twitter profile for every different, um, every different industry you're recruiting for, using automated tools will actually cut the process down. Now, the important thing to remember is also why are we doing this in the first place if it's not coming back to ROI? So are you actually measuring the clicks, uh, click-through rate, um, application rate, and so forth? So basic content is quite easy if you're going to post. You've got three different ways, really. 
you do it the manual way where you can just go straight to Twitter. You can do it by an API, so an RSS feed. A lot of job sites do do that. So you'll use Twitter feed or uh, Twitter feed or some other uh, tweet deck, another one. But they'll go for an API. Now, for those, do we have, who doesn't understand what an a API means? It's quite a few, it's just an application programming interface. It's interface between a, a one computer program and another. Simple, you join together. So, when, when we talk about here, is how many CRMs or ATS do we have in the room? Quite a few, yeah. Couple. Okay, so the best way to do to integrate with Twitter and Facebook is definitely through your CRM or ATS. So if you're manually doing it, you're really wasting time. You really need to go through some sort of provider to do it. And that way, when it goes to Twitter and it goes to your job ad form, or it goes, it automatically goes back into your, your process. So you're cutting down the steps, and we're also improving, um, and we're tracking all these weights coming through. Data flow is quite important because we. We want to understand what we're posting, posting it where, and then when it comes back to us. So when it comes back to us, we can actually say, okay, now we're integrated through the system, what other information can we collect from this start, from this user who's applied? So again, it's not only their first name or last name, okay, what's their Twitter bio say about them? What tweets have they recently done about an organisation or, or, or something they're looking for? And also, we could also grab their picture as well, you know, make it nice and pretty. So all different Twitter programs, the, the third-party APIs, will be using some sort of pool of data. Again, this is quite a big minefield, so again, you need to consider any privacy or legal issues um, and how these actually apply in your organisations. Do we need to collect the data? Most likely you don't. But what type of data you collect is quite important. Who owns the data? The user owns the data. And then how often do you update the data is another question. So the best way to, as, a, as users, I think you need to be very, very aware in terms of security, which way to do it. I totally say don't use the username and password when you connect via a third party. Definitely use some sort of integrated module. I see a lot of recruiters um, who have trouble actually working out what I'm talking about at all. And, and you're probably there sitting there with, with face going, what's he talking about? I'm talking about your username and password being used for other identity theft and, and other sort of security issues. You need to make sure that any program you use to post Twitter, any third party tool, same with Facebook, that they're authorised and it's done with OAuth for example. <coughs> and again, in terms of user privacy, if you have multiple Facebook accounts, uh, sorry, Twitter accounts, you can easily revoke the access to that program. Now Twitter, uh, when we post jobs, we do create a lot of noise, and the noise does get quite annoying. Things said and done. But again, we want to create tools which are going to aggregate all these different jobs and put them into one software. We just search for one keyword, or a lot of people have trouble actually using Twitter search itself. So they'll go to sites like Twitter Job Search or Hash Jobs or Tweet Hire and actually search for um, all jobs at once. Now, two examples I've got here right now, and, and this is a bit different from what a normal what you're probably used to is where you say, okay, I'll just post a job to Twitter. Easy said than done. Job site in the UK have, have, have got a different way of doing it. They actually go, okay, start following job site jobs. Job site jobs will send you a, a, a direct message and say, okay, we want to know more about you. We want to know exactly what you're looking for and we don't want to create this noise. So what they do is they say, okay, click on this unique URL, take still to a website, where you complete the form saying, okay, what type of keywords in your job search you're looking for, what's your location. And instead of sending it as a reply and, and blocking up your Twitter feed, they're actually saying, okay, we'll just send you a message when new jobs come up. So you think of it as an email job alert. And these are different things that people are doing instead of just pushing and making so much noise on Twitter. So, uh, Sudoku Careers do it as well, um, and there's another <coughs> number of different um, job sites I know who have started to do this as they've realised that there's so much noise and they need to direct their traffic to people who actually really care about finding a job via these methods. <coughs>